Sam, a relieved man, you're back in the side, back playing again. Yeah, finally. Um, it's dragged on a bit longer than I wanted to. And I'm sure a lot longer than other people wanted to as well, but it's nice to be finally be out there feeling like a footballer again instead of just running around poles and cones without any ball. So, yeah, it's a relief to get back then. It's hard work starts now, really. I've got to try and get the minutes under my belt and try and work my way into the into the starting eleven. Is it just a matter of getting match fit now? Where, I mean, you're obviously fit, but you've got to get match fit, haven't you? Yeah, that's all. That's all I need to do, to be honest with you. Um, touch wood. There's no injuries, anything like that. Knee feels good. So, like I said, it's just about getting uh, minutes under my belt now because I haven't played 90 minutes for maybe seven months or six months now from last from last season. So, it's all about getting min minutes under my belt, building it up. And like I said, it's going to be a tough job for me to try and get into the starting 11. The boys are, the boys are doing well. So, that's, that's, that's my main aim now. Did you feel OK in that 10 minutes or so that you were out there? Yeah, I felt fine. Like I said, it's just hard to come into a game when it's so tight like that, nil-nil, and, and try and get up to the speed of play when you've been out for so long. But now I felt really good, to be honest with you. I thought I was going to be a bit more tired than I was. But now I felt really good, and it was, like I said, it's a massive relief for me to be out there, finally. I mean, your first touch was nearly a through ball, wasn't it? You nearly put him through. Yeah, well, that's what I'm on there to do, is try and get some, uh, try and get some assists and goals. So, yeah, like I said, it's, it's all about working hard now to try and get more minutes. Is it a lonely place when you're injured? Hard work and that? Yeah, it's a lot harder than people think. Uh, I've never had a long-term injury in my career, so the first one, and to be honest with you, it was, it was tough. And I understand now when players that have had long-term injuries say, oh, it's the mental side of it which is the, which is the toughest. And I definitely find that the hardest part because, like I say, I've played 30-odd games for the last seven, seven or eight years on the bounce. So being inside and watching the lads out there training and enjoying it and kicking the ball and I'm inside and I know I can't go out there and do that, it's so frustrating. And like I say, it's, it's even more difficult when you join a new team because I wanted to go out there and play straight away show the fans what I'm capable of and, and get back playing football. That's, that's, at the end of the day, that's what we're all here for, to play football. And when you can't do that, it's, it's frustrating and, and you feel a bit you feel a bit lonely. Um, I felt a bit embarrassed at times as well, to be honest with you, because, like I said, I've joined a new, a new team and everyone's looking at me thinking, oh, we've signed a new player and he's, he's injured, he's not even out there playing. So it's frustrating for me, it's frustrating for everyone, I can imagine. And I just wanted to out there, get out there and help the boys. And I'm sure they encouraged you, but you can't help but feeling not part of it, can you? No, you don't feel part of it all. Like I say, after the games, you don't travel to the away games. You stay in and you work on the Saturday with the physios on your own. Home games, you come and watch. But like I say, you don't feel really involved because I didn't really know any of the lads I come in, even though they've been brilliant since I've come in. It's hard to try and get in into that feeling until you're actually out there playing and helping the team. So it's frustrating. Like, like I say, it's been, it's been a tough, tough few months. But to get out there, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a massive relief for me. And hopefully, touch wood, I never have to go through anything, anything like that again. And, and how, how relieved are you that uh, you know not only you're back in the side, but uh, you know you're giving the manager, manager a headache now with your performance? Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I've got to do now. I know I'm not going to come straight back in and straight into the starting eleven. I, I'm not that deluded. I'm going to have to work hard, and that starts at the, at the training ground. It doesn't start on the pitch. It starts at the training ground, and I've got to be out there every day, first and foremost, out there training. I can't be inside being injured anymore. I need to be out there and showing the, showing the manager what I'm capable of doing. I'm trying to do that in training. And if I get 10, 15, 20 minutes out there on the pitch, then I've got to show everybody what I can do. And like I say, try, try and find my way into that starting 11. Do you owe a lot to the medical people and the physios, etc.? Yeah, they've been brilliant. Ever since I've come in, they've, they've all been brilliant with me. Um, there's been times where I've probably wanted to come back a bit too early and they've said, listen, it's, it's not going to be in your long-term uh, benefit to do that. So no, they've been massive, uh, massive help to me. Uh, credit to them. And uh, Liela, just want to say thanks for them for getting me out there on the pitch today. Has the gaffer been trying to push you a bit earlier than you'd like? You know, come on, let's get you out there. No, he's been brilliant, to be honest with you. Uh, sometimes he has a laughing joke saying, come on, get out there. But I think it's half joking and half being serious. But yeah, like I say, it's, it's more frustrating for me. I want to get out there more than anybody, believe me. And I hate just being inside and I want to be out there playing football all day, every day, if I could do. Uh, so yeah, it's been very frustrating. But it's, like I say, it's just a massive relief to finally get out there and feel like a footballer again. And what's your assessment of where we are in the league and, and how we're doing at the moment? I think we're doing OK. I think there's a lot more room for improvement. I think we all, we all know that. We need to be a bit more clinical at the top end of the pitch. We need to score more goals. And when you look at the team we've got, I, I think we should be up there. And We've got plenty of games left. It's just trying to roll knit together. I think we've got a lot of new players that are coming. We're trying to gel together and, and, and get, that, get that connection on the pitch. So it's going to be a tough few weeks. But like I say, the most important thing now, I think, is we're stopping the goals going in uh, in our end. I think previously we were conceding two, three goals. It's a lot tighter now. And like I say, it's, it's all about working on the training field and, and trying to be more clinical at the top end of the pitch. And we're picking up points. This might be an important point when we get to the end of the season. 
No, every away point is uh, vital, I think, especially when you come to a place like this. They've been doing really well in the league. They're a tough team to play against, uh, tough crowd to play against as well. And I thought we did well. And I think maybe a draw was probably a fair result today, even though we could have probably nicked it at the end with the crowd had coming off the bar. But we, I think, don't think both teams really created enough to say they should have gone out there and won today. So I'd say a fair, fair result. Finally, a two-week break now. Is that a good time for you now? Um, I'd say no person. I'd want a game tomorrow if it was up to me because I'd want to go out there and play. But no, it's, it's good for a lot of the boys. A lot of the boys have played so many minutes, even in the international team, they go away and play 90 minutes. They do a lot of travelling. So it's probably going to come at a good time for them. Uh, we need to go get back and rest up for some of the boys. But, but for me, it's going to be carry on working hard. Uh, I need to be in at the training ground and working hard to try and get the minutes, uh, minutes under my belt. I can't be affording any, any time off, to be honest with you, because like I said, I've missed so many games and a few months at the start of the season. So I, I, I don't want the break. <laughs>